Well, two months after a Missouri Marine was killed in Afghanistan, dozens attended a Veterans Day ceremony honoring him and his family. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley has more on the dedication to Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz. She is bringing that to us from St. Charles. Emily. Vic, Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz is from this area, St. Charles County. Today, Governor Mike Parson, Senator Roy Blunt, and many, many other veterans joined right here behind me to honor the 20-year-old and the 12 other service members that was killed by a suicide bomber in August in the final hours of the U.S. leaving the Kabul airport. <laughs> Reminded of the tremendous sacrifice our service members make when 13 of our servicemen and women lay down their lives in the name of freedom, including our own Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz. A day of thanks and remembrance to veterans and their families. All gave some. Unfortunately, some gave all. A somber ceremony in St. Charles honoring Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz for the ultimate sacrifice. And we have a family that has been through that and we want to honor them today. Schmitz was among 13 soldiers killed by a suicide bomber in Afghanistan in August. I'd like to say it's getting easier. It's that'd be a lie. There's a hole that we can't fill. His mom and dad recognized on Veterans Day for their son's service. And we can never do enough to honor your son, but I tell you every day we're going to remember what he did. And I promise you that in this state. There can be no more honor than giving your life while protecting fellow soldiers and the citizens that were around him. Remembering all men and women who have served or are serving for our freedom and their families. But without all your support, I don't think we would be standing as, as tall as we are today. The price that has to be paid is a tremendous price for those who pay it and those who love them, and we are grateful for that. Governor Mike Parson said today in the ceremony that more than 400,000 veterans live here in the state of Missouri. That ranks the Show Me State for the top 15 states in the country where veterans live. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in St. Charles, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.